everybody. Hey, okay, um, I think I need to scroll my screen down here a little bit. So um, today's been a big day. Me and my mom had a shopping trip this morning. Hobby Lobby Michaels. Update on my wish orders I have. Oh, and yeah, um, tonight I had a dinner out at a restaurant in my local town for Thanksgiving with my um, Lions Club group that I'm a member of. Don't run it. Just member. And anyway, so that I've done. And, you know, so my wish order, some of it, I've got one item left, but I haven't ordered any more because it's taken so long to get the items in. Some of the things are good. Some of the things are in. But so I'm glad I discovered Lovecrafts. I've got one more order coming in from that. I, I need to track it and see how long it's before it's going to be here, but it won't be long. I just ordered it a couple days ago using the November sale. But anyway, start off with Hobby Lobby. Okay. Me and my mom first went to Hobby Lobby. We were looking for button eyes for me. Um, she was looking for some die cuts. I'm not going to show those. She got them. Those are hers. And I was looking for some yarn. And I saw where Jenny had gotten some yarn from Hobby Lobby. but it, And I didn't really notice how very little, little, little amount of yarn such a big store had. Yes, it seems like my local Hobby Lobby, which is further to get to, middle of Asheville and not really close to Black Mountain, anywhere near... And so it was, it's not easy to get to. It's a longer distance to go. And it didn't have but two, maybe three aisles, maybe two aisles. I mean, one side, one side, and another third on one half of yarn. And I was there looking for Bernay softy baby yarn because you see, uh, I sold two of my little dolls to finish the last two that you saw when you didn't see. I'm sorry. I sold it before I let you see it. But anyway, sold two and got six more orders for them. So I went from being halfway finished to not halfway finished and having to do at least eight to ten more still. I haven't gained any ground. I kind of got more to do. So I needed more of the skin color, which I didn't get at Hobby Lobby. Just those eyes, which is great. These are for $1.99, and they got a package of eight sets in them. 16 of the eyeballs. So that's two eyes for each. So that's a package of eight, eight sets of eyes, which is good. And now, so we went out to lunch at a place called Jersey Mike's, and it was very delicious. And then we went to Michael's. Now, I had a coupon for half off, which I used, but all the route yarn was regular price, which is good because I was able to use my coupon. So, I only got three skeins. This one here is what color I'm using on the dolls, and I've already started the second one of these I bought. So, this is the third one I bought of this color. This is the second one I bought of this color because this is for the blonde hair, and uh, I have four of those orders are for blonde hair little dolls. Uh, Two were for brown, which blinks. But I also got some little lighter color of purple lavender because they both want pink and purples. And the lady that wants four, yeah, there's one lady that wants four, wanted all girly colors, pink and purple. Oh, they also want me to design ones for boy. I guess I got to get those made before I design the boy one. And I have my, my idea, mind what I'm going to do, how to design the boy one, but I haven't got the time yet. So anyway. That all came from Michael's, and I was happy with it. And now, speaking of hair of colors, let's see. This one is what I... I ordered two, four skeins of yarn from Wish, and they finally came. Now, I thought they were going to be like a lightweight. I don't know why I thought that, but let me see. This is one. They ended up having five strands on them, and when I went to crochet with them, and they, they all started coming apart. Um, how do you deal with the uh, yarn that's, you know, doing that? 
coming apart. All of them. They all, um, this one here was coming loose on the end, but you can tell it's already doing it from the one coming out the center. I don't have a problem finding that one. You know, that's easy to find down there, but look, it's coming apart. So I don't know what to do with this yarn. It's not the kind of yarn I wanted. It's a little thicker, and I'm not ordering it from Wish anymore. That That is, uh, you know, the, one of the things about Wish that I wasn't happy with. There's another thing that wasn't happy. I also ordered more crochet hooks from Wish. And these, I'm okay with. I haven't. This is like a two millimeter. They're really teeny tiny. And these dolls have to all be the same size. So I'm using the C. This would be like an A, I guess. And uh, like a B. Like a B. And the set came with two of each of the smaller sizes here's the tricky fight thing it went two millimeter two and a half millimeter apparently my c hook is a 2.75 millimeter which i didn't know until i got these and i looked at it so anyway and uh these golder ones are are a uh, three they're a three millimeter and and then also 3.5, which I think is a so D and E. e I got lots of E. Remember, the, the 3.5 is what came in those uh, kits that crochet kits my sister got me. So lots of this hook, crochet hook, are coming out of the woo. <laughs> lots of them. I guess if we lose them, we'll have plenty to keep in track. Anyway, I was happy with the crochet hooks. I actually haven't had a chance to use them because I'm using the C one. And I've only got one C one and I'm using it to make the Amigurumi dolls that I'm using now. So, now that I've discussed that, so let's discuss some of the other things I got from Wish. These little things I ordered from Wish, these are stitch markers. I ordered these before I even started making the other fancy stitch markers now with these i can open and close them a lot easier than i can the lobster claws and i've ordered some from amazon for lobster claws but they haven't made it to me yet and if they are larger it may be make it easier for me to open them and put them in for some reason i have a hard time with a tiny year class and yeah i've used the tiny year class to make the um stitch markers so maybe i shouldn't have but i had to try so these are here are coming in handy. Mom is really going to use this when she gets back to making my niece's blanket and making an owl blanket for my other great niece. She finished the mermaid one. It looks quite cute. It's in a book that you find at AC Moore. And it all has to do with like hats on the, it's like a hooded blanket. And, and so the owl is a hooded blanket. It, it's going to be a little more, more intricate, I think, as she's going to be using these. And so this is coming handy for her. And it comes in handy. I'm using one or two of these, but not a whole lot. But she'll it'll be good for her. And I'm happy to share. Um, now, another wish item I got. And trouble is with this one. I can't figure out. This is supposed to be, when you know, the thing where you put your thread through here and you crochet well this is a bit definitely a knockoff or a fake of these type of ring because these things are going the same direction this one here isn't turned up or tur i mean they're not going different directions and the one online where they're actually the real deal they're going a different direction and i haven't figured out how to use this how to control it i just can't quite get the yarn to to it either goes flows all the way through where there's no tension or or it's easier for me to hold the thread and no tension i haven't figured out how to use it yet so i'm kind of disappointed in this it it does not i tried to bend it the right way and it didn't work but it it i can't figure it out yeah um i had gotten some jewelry pliers in to what help with the stitch markers I'm making. And I'll make some more eventually too. But right now I'm waiting on some rose gold or, or the rose gold colored 
I don't think they're really rose gold. I don't know. It might be a fake. But anyway, I'm look, look, waiting on some lob claws and some more head pins to um, make more stitch markers. Um, and let's see. Oh, yeah. Now, you know, I showed you I got some of the black, your black uh, things. And on Saturday, I was supposed to receive some eyes. Um, some from Wish. And my mail carrier has not been the best lately. He's either been forgetting stuff, putting stuff in the wrong mailbox. And, and one time he actually forgot it and he remembered it, saw it and come back and delivered it. The second package is sec another time because I had two packages that day. He delivered one. I talked to him. He had to come all the way back down because he made a mistake and forgot. So they be, he's been getting our mail mixed up in the wrong mailboxes too, which has not been good. So Saturday, this thing was out for delivery. Sunday, this was back at the post office, staying available for pickup. Today, I go to the post office to pick it up. Guess what? Yes, it was back on the mail truck for, out for delivery. And I wasn't notified of that, though. So I had ordered three different colors. These are blue. And when we got back from shopping, which I was told it would be 1.30 when it was arrived. Well, at 3 o'clock, it still had not been delivered. Hey, Jenny. So anyway, I finally did get them at around about 15 till 4. And our mail has been, been delivered slow, late, all that lately. And it hasn't been coming in another time it goes. I wish they would have signed the, the mailbox to the previous uh, carrier, but she might have retired. <laughs> These are supposed to be a gold. Um, I'm thinking that if I use these on a little dolls for, um, I have two foster children, used to be foster children that my niece still babysits or watches or, or sends gifts to. If I make two for them, they're colored. And if I make it colored, I would probably need to go behind it and maybe put some acrylic white paint so that it won't show through the darker um, yarn and highlight the eyes better. And anyway, so um, now my finished object, other than the one that I can't show you because I already sold it and I got some more orders, six more orders. And by the way, uh, I'm going to be so busy. And I love um, your um, little um, applique. Uh, of what was her name? V Vanna? Vanya? Um, Vanda? I can't remember her name. I watch her channel occasionally, but I don't really haven't had time to try any of her stuff. Um, and Mom's the one that does the blankets. Anyway, uh, this is for my niece, Natalie. This is my latest one that I have finished. And uh, now that's the original hair color that the lady had decided she wanted the darker color of hair. And she loved them. And the other ladies loved them so much that, yeah, I have four more orders. And anyway, my, what I have in work in progress is for one of the ladies. Um, one of the ladies wanted the hair to be a little shorter. She wanted two little girls that had blonde hair. So... Because I, I couldn't remember who. I spoke to one of them this morning, yesterday morning. So I actually, oh, Jada. Yeah, that's it. Jada in stitches. And, and that was beautiful. I like the little teacup thing too. I think that's one of your collectibles that you have for your cabinet. Um, But anyway, this is what I have so far for, for the one that is just wanting two dolls. Pink and purple. So I'm going to do this one in pink and another one in purples. Now... I'm going to go ahead and since you weren't on earlier, I'll do my my trip to uh, Hobby Lobby didn't happen till today. I was not happy with Hobby Lobby. I did not find any of the yarns I was looking for. And it almost seemed small. It was a big giant store. Not very much yarn in it at all. So I was kind of disappointed that it didn't have much yarn. And But I was happy and pleased that they had their one dollar and ninety nine cents for um, eight pairs of the safety eyes that are just all the way solid black, like I've been using. Eight pairs, and so I was pleased with that. 
Mom got some die cuts for Christmas card making she loved. But we didn't find any of the yarn we needed there. So we went to lunch at Jersey Mike's. And then we went to Michael's. And I did have one coupon. 50% off on my app. And I got three yarns. This here is my third time getting this yarn. Baby, it's a Bernay Softy Baby. Um, and I think Antique White is the color of the skin I've been using. And then let's see. I can't remember what this color is called, but this color is the second time I've gotten this one. It's also Bernay Softy Baby. And uh, where is the color listed? I have no idea where the color is on here. Let's see. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Looking for it. DK purple and gray if you want them. Okay, sure, I will. Oh, thank you. Um, I'll message you. Um, I don't know. It's some kind of light yellow. I don't know where to find where the color is on this one. I can't see it too good, but it's a yellow. And this one is not. This is a light purple. And uh, this one is uh, also a three. The Snuggly Wuggly. It was only $4.99, so it wasn't expensive. It feels like it's got more in it than the others. And the other one's a good size yarns. So, anyway. And uh, so, that and, and those button eyes that came in today. Um, I'm going to have me making things for quite some time. And what have I left out? Did you see these? This is from Wish. These are the stitch markers I ordered from them before I started making mine. They're actually easier for me to open. And if I was having to store my, if I had to store my um, project away for a, a longer period of time, I'd probably get out those other fancy stitch markers. But these are quick to get off and quick to get on. And mom has a use for tons of them. Um, she has a, um, a wavy blanket she's doing. And I think it's just wavy, not zigzag. And she always gets confused when she gets to where she has to decrease, I think. So she tried doing the yarn, putting the yarn in it to hold her stitch markers. And I don't think they were coming out. So she, I'm going to let her use that. And she's going to, has that book that made the mermaid blanket. It has, you know, it has a hair and it has blonde hair like you would for Frozen. And, and it has like a little tail. And, I mean, it's a cute little mermaid blanket. I'll have to get a picture of it eventually, but right now today I don't have a picture. And uh, anyway, um, it's for my great niece, but she's going to wait until she has three blankets done. And so the next one will be the owl. I think for my other great niece, Ella, she's older, but she's also going to use these for that. And uh, yeah, that one doll is their latest new orders. Don't buy this from Wish. It's not made right. It's made wrong. It's not going the same direction as others. And I can't figure out how to use this thing because it's kind of, they're not both supposed to be going the same. One's supposed to be perpendicular to the, not parallel. And they're parallel. Um, and it's definitely a mark off. It's, it's a, it's a, what do you call it? Um, it's false. It's fake. Copied. It not, it's not the, real deal and the eyes i'm going to enjoy using the eyes when i finally get finished with the orders that i have i'm the orders i'm and the other two gifts for maggie macy i think i'm going to also use the the this color of eyes i only had six left and i knew i needed to get more of these and anyway i've got lots of eyes now for making more for this summer the sale after I get done with all these that I need to make for the gift. And um, hmm. did you see my wish yarn? Do you need wish yarn? It was not a DK 
it has five plies in it. It's thick and it's rivaling. I don't know what to do with yarn that rivals from the get-go. From This is came from the center. Um, yeah, see, that one's... Hold that up. See that? This one I haven't pulled out. This one's where I can see it. But look, it's already rivaling on the end. How do you deal with yarn when it rivals like that? I don't know. Oh, um, Jenny, I was not online earlier when you were uploading your video. Don't, don't buy Wish Yarn. Don't recommend it. My experience here is waited on it for three weeks to a month, and then when it comes to you, it's not good quality. Anyway, um, I had, um, I'm a member of the local Lions Club. And we had our Thanksgiving dinner tonight. So at 6 o'clock, I, I went out to eat. It was very yummy and delicious. Um, we had turkey. We had green beans. They had, um, it looked like they had old green beans with fresh green beans. And they dumped tons of garlic in it with no salt. It was sour tasting. I had to actually ask if it had lemon in it. It didn't, but it was sour tasting. I didn't like it. And, um, or their Caesar salad, there it was good, but it didn't have enough Caesar in it this time. So next time I'm going to ask to have the Caesar salad dressing on the side. Because next month we have another Christmas dinner one, which I've already requested not to have the ham. I don't like ham. Um, so, but anyway, we had a dinner and I was out probably during the time you were uploading your other video. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and I'm going to go into the other room with the laptop and I'm going to message you. Did, did I show you? I didn't show you. Okay. So these are what I have started of the feetsies of the dolls. I didn't have this. Well. Not this one, but the similar color like this I didn't have in my bag with me at the time in the living room. So I just put the little stitch markers in in the three. Let's see if you can see. See in the individual in in the decrease invisible decrease stitch is what that is. I'm getting ready to change the color. On both of these, it's going to the skin color for the leg part. And so I put these in there so that I can save them until I got back. That, that was so I could do both of these. Uh, get both of them started. Instead of doing one leg at a time, this time I didn't have all that needed in the other room with me. In a short time, that was like right before, right after we got back from shopping and before I had to get ready to go and uh anyway so i did like the crochet hooks i got from wish now if you're someone who don't read what you're getting then you might be disappointed because i ordered eight crochet hooks but i had looked at it and i knew i was getting two of the i dropped one i had two of these two the two blue. I had two of the blue. And two of each of the, the two millimeter. The 2.5 millimeter. Now my crochet hook to see is a 2.75. And that's what I found out after I got these. A 3 and a 3.5. The 3.5 is like the E. And that's like the size that, that came in those kits that I got. And I'm going to have to search and find that other crochet hook. I am afraid it has fallen. I have dropped it into the floor beside the bed. And anyway, um, so anyway, I like those. Those will be nice. Um, the pattern that I'm following that I got online, which I tweaked quite a bit. It originally um, had you using a two millimeter hook. And it's the, the pattern was from Australia. And so it was calling for what's called an eight ply. And here in the States, an eight ply is like a chunky yunky, chunky yarn, big, very big chunky. And I just knew that wouldn't. So our lightweight 
And and what she used could have even been a, a weight of two or a smaller than a DK weight. So that's the only way I can think of that one would worked. I can picture using the 2.5 to crochet this yarn here, but I can't picture using um, this one to crochet it. It would be, well, let me show you. It would be very small to crochet it. So anyway, I got these needles. I'm combining it with mom's and we're sharing them and, you know, mom doesn't get on Facebook or YouTube or anything like that. Well, mom has Facebook, but she doesn't make videos. She doesn't get on YouTube. She doesn't really do that. She watches a few videos on her phone, but that's about the extent that she does. She doesn't come online. Harley, or coming online is really me. And uh, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get off here so I can send you a message and find the other crochet hook that I dropped. And I'm hoping that I dropped, didn't drop it too far. All right. Talk to you later. Bye now.